Some debates never end. Some last years like the Apple versus Android debate or the Xbox versus PlayStation debate. However, some debates have been around for much, much longer. Since the dawn of human time, content creators and video editors have been constantly arguing over which video editing software is the best. Some say it's Adobe Premiere Pro. Some say it's DaVinci Resolve. Some even say it's iMovie. Well, Actually, no one says it's iMovie. But anyways, in this video, I'm going to end the suffering for all you new editors out there getting confused about which video editing software you should use in 2023. Imagine a mechanic is fixing a car. While they fix it, they're probably going to use different tools for different things. They aren't just going to pick one tool and never consider using any others. They're going to use a variation of tools to finish the job faster and more effectively. This should be the same with video editing. Different software should be used for different things and all top editors working with massive clients know this and utilize it. So if you want to become more like them, maybe you should consider doing this as well. And luckily for you, in this video, I'm going to tell you which video editing software I think is the best for each situation. And stick around because at the end of this video I'm going to reveal to you which software I would pick if I could only choose one. Also if there are any content creators watching check out the top link in the description. My website may have something of interest to you. Firstly, if you're in a situation where you have a bunch of clips that you need to organize and put together to make a film. So basically, the first step of pretty much every video editing project. I would recommend using Premiere Pro. I mean, it's literally in the name, Premiere Pro. Premiere meaning the debut or the first time a film is shown. And in this case, Premiere meaning the first thing you use when you have to edit. You may be wondering, what about DaVinci Resolve or Vegas Pro? In my opinion, Vegas Pro just isn't the best software. I just think that there are much better options out there because Vegas doesn't have nearly as many effect controls or things to use as the other softwares on this list like Premiere Pro, DaVinci Resolve or After Effects. But that's just my opinion. And even though DaVinci Resolve is a really good software, I just think for this specific scenario, it's just not as good as Premiere Pro. But it does excel past Premiere Pro in other things. And that is what I will discuss later in this video. Also, if you're interested in getting into any high level filming or editing where a client is going to expect you to turn up to an editing suite to edit there, the chances are that they are going to ask you to use Premiere Pro. It's just the default option in this industry. Now, let's just say you have edited your footage and created a video, but it doesn't really have many effects. Maybe it just has a few transitions, but let's just say you want more. Let's just say you want to take that video to the next level by adding some really flashy, impressive looking effects. This is when I would recommend that you use Adobe After Effects. A lot of people do get intimidated by this software. And to be fair, I do understand why, especially if you are a beginner. And that's why if you are a beginner, I actually wouldn't recommend that you try and use this software yet. I would recommend you trying to get really good with Premiere Pro first, and maybe then you should try to use After Effects. I personally didn't try and use After Effects until two years after I started video editing. But if you get good with Premiere Pro in a couple months, then go for it. Why not start earlier? But don't just instantly jump to After Effects until you are at least decent at video editing. Now, let's just say you are trying to color grade a lot. Maybe you want to become a colorist or a professional color grader. Then I think you all know which software I would recommend. Recommend. DaVinci Resolve is obviously the best option here. It just has so many more color grading options compared to the other video editing softwares out there. I mean, just look at this color grading panel. It almost looks daunting how many options there are. However, if I had to pick one video editing software to use for the rest of my video editing career, or if I was a beginner and I wanted to only use one software for the first few months, which one would I pick? Well, I personally would pick Premiere Pro. You can almost do anything in Premiere Pro and pretty much everything is simplified down to a level that almost anyone can understand. Like if you give a beginner some footage to edit and you give them access to Premiere Pro and DaVinci Resolve, they are way more likely to finish the edit if they choose Premiere Pro. I mean, just look at these two softwares. It's pretty obvious which one would confuse a beginner more. However, at the end of the day, this is still just my opinion. I personally use multiple softwares every week. And I believe if a software works well for you, even if I say in this video or anyone else says that it might not be optimal for what you're trying to do, you might as well just stick with it. This video was more for people who are confused about which software to use. If you are a beginner trying to learn how to edit, this video here will reveal to you the 10 effects that you will need to know how to use in Premiere Pro. 